What wickedness! Those Judeans had abandoned the pure worship of Jehovah to follow the Baalism of surrounding nations. Baalism, with its human sacrifices, its ritual prostitution, its worship of dumb idols, and its formalistic prayers for material prosperity, had no rightful place among Jehovah's worshippers. Just as the Judeans indulge in all manner of sexual immorality, so we find the peoples of Christendom today involved in premarital sex, promiscuity, wife swapping, divorce, homosexuality, and the like, while many of the clergy look the other way or even condone such practices, all contrary to the Bible standard. Concubinage is very common in some Catholic countries in South America, and in North America, a Monsignor wrote the editorial, Legalized prostitution is the saintly solution. Take a look also at the conditions in some Protestant countries, where wife swapping, premarital sex, and sex without marriage are quite common. We find the reason for this suggested in the newspaper caption, Pastors Silent on Premarital Sex. The article said, the pastors of America have been sinfully silent in preaching on premarital sex. They are afraid they will lose some of their parishioners. So is all religion a force for moral, moral good. At times, what people see among members of their religious organizations greatly disappoint them and causes them to forget about God. A married couple in the state of Michigan found that this had happened to them. They were disturbed by religious hypocrisy among members of their own church. They learned that many fellow members of the local Methodist, Methodist church were engaging in wife swapping. In disgust, they quit attending church. But as they said, in leaving the church, we felt that we had left God and knew that we shouldn't have done that. However, in time, their experience caused them to think about Jehovah's Witnesses. This was because the conduct of the Witnesses impressed them. The man and his wife even told friends and neighbors that they would like to become Jehovah's Witnesses, saying, They all seem so wholesome and so well versed in the Bible. Shocking as it is, even some who have been prominent in Jehovah's organization have succumbed to immoral practices, including homosexuality, wife swapping, and child molesting. It is to be noted also that during the past year, 36,638 individuals had to be disfellowshipped from the Christian congregation, the greater number of them for practicing immorality. Jehovah's organization must be kept clean.